The message is like a well. The city may come and go, but the sweet water remains. However, it needs someone to know its whereabouts. These are the messengers, and Muhammad is the last of them. Peace and blessings be upon him. Messenger of Mercy Allah says in his noble book, I did not create jinn and men except to worship me. And he brought forth the prophets and the messengers to guide jinn and men to the reality and fullness of worship by revelation and by example. Muhammad, the messenger of mercy, peace and blessings be upon him, is in the timeless spiritual realm of meaning the first and last of the messengers and in the material world of event and time, the last and their seal. He was asked, when was prophethood decreed for you? He replied, when Adam was between the body and the spirit. He said, when Allah created Adam, he made me descend to earth in his loins. He put me in the loins of Nuh in the ark and cast me into the fire in the loins of Ibrahim. Then he continued to move me from noble loins to pure wounds until he brought me out from my parents. None of them ever met in fornication. He said, I am Muhammad, the unlettered prophet. There is no prophet after me. I was given all the words and their seals. Amongst the unique things given to him, given to no prophet before, were that he was sent to all people, that the earth was made a mosque for him and a place of purity, and that when the time of prayer came, any of his community could pray, and that he was given intercession. He said, I will go ahead on your behalf, and I will be a witness for you. By Allah, I am looking at the water basin even now. I've been given the keys to the treasures of the earth. By Allah, I do not fear that you will associate with Allah after me, but I fear that you will contend with each other for this world. Messenger of Mercy